Take a look at Steven Jackson by the numbers, and boy, they are big numbers. But let's just start with this one, seven. Number of consecutive 1,000-yard seasons he's recorded. 2011, he rushed for 1,145 yards in 15 games. Workhorse. 52 is the number of rushing touchdowns he's had in his NFL career. One of 11 active running backs with at least 50 career rushing touchdowns. And the last number is a biggie, 9,093. That is his career rushing yards as a Ram. The all-time franchise record over 1,800 yards more than second place won Eric Dickerson. Stephen Jackson joins us live on SportsCenter on behalf of the Stephen Jackson Foundation, which promotes healthy educational values in today's youth. He wants everyone to read, read, read. But with your foundation in mind and children in mind, how have you explained to kids what is going on right now in the NFL with the bounties? Well, the first thing you want to make sure that they understand that that's not the right way to play football. You know, sometimes we all make mistakes in life and we have to pay for those consequences that we decide to make. But the first thing is first that you teach them to be good sportsmen, teach them that's not the way to play football, and that when you do things like this, you have to deal with the consequences. Were you surprised to hear about the bounty or incentive program or what many other teams call it? I was surprised. How prevalent is it? I was surprised to hear at, at what extent that I had, had gone and how they were going about doing business. It's unfortunate that it happened, and I believe that Coach Williams definitely regrets, you know, the things, his involvement, as well as the Saints organization. Yes, I'm sure Coach Williams, Greg Williams, talking about regrets, uh, the lack of the opportunity to work with the St. Louis Rams this year. He was coming in with your new head coach, Jeff Fisher. Uh, Jeff's very fond of running backs. How do you see the offense evolving? Well, the offense would definitely, we're going to have a, a strong running game, I believe so. And as well, from building off of that, we're going to use Sam's ability to, to move around the pocket. He throws really good on the run, stretch it with play action, and hopefully get some big time, some big time help on the outside, maybe through the draft or in free agency. We saw Sam Bradford last year regress a bit. What concerns do you have about his game? I actually have no concerns. And, and the reason why is because in three years, Sam is working on his third offensive coordinator. Day to day, he can make all the throws that you need a prototypical quarterback to make. He has the leadership. He wants to win. You know, losing is something that bothers him. And you want to see that in your young talent. So once he has the stability of having a, 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 the same coach, the same coordinator, I think we will see him grow and put up the numbers and, and perform at the level we saw him do in college. You've been in the league now eight years. You will be 29 years old this summer. 30 is just around the corner. Hate to rush you, but that is such a critical number for a running back. Yet you're so durable. How have you done it? Well, the first thing is that I make sure that I take care of myself. I have a regimen that I go through after each and every Sunday. I don't wait till Monday to start recovering for the game. I start Sunday night, take ice baths, and I just go through a laundry list of things that I documented on my website. So if you go to SJ39, you can see the whole thing <laughs> unfold. There's a lot to talk about, but I, I've done a great job of making sure that I take care of my body. That being said, you are 29, and Trent Richardson is out there possibly falling your way to your team's way. Would he be a smart move for the Rams to take him? If the, if the, if the organization decides they want to go young at the running back position or, or add more depth, um, I think he's a tremendous running back, and I will look forward to mentoring him and teaching him, especially about the history of the running back in the organization. We've had some great guys come through mm -hmm. there. But if we decide to go any other place, I'll still take that role of mentorship and just teach these young men how to be professionals. Is it easier to mentor a young man who isn't ultimately uh, going to take your job? Well, at one point, I, I replaced a, a living legend in Marshall Falk. So uh, our, day all, our day always come, sometimes sooner than later. But I'm, I'm actually, you know, if that, the opportunity comes, one, it will pump me up more. And it, take, it probably would take my game to another level myself. You're not going to give him your job. He's going to have to take it. I oh, definitely have to take it. All right. Steven <laughs> Jackson, good to see you. Thank Continued you. success and good health, too. Thank Look forward to it.